Alright YouTube, so I'm gonna make a new amplifier and they are saying the cabinet here the chassis here and it's a quite big one Alright, so let me show you the front panel Well, this is the front panel. Well, this is a uh, cabinet for stereo amplifier with bass, treble, balance and all this stuff the good thing is that there is no provision for USB kit because I'm not going to make it a stereo amplifier with bass and treble. I'm going to make it a power amplifier like you have seen the professional power amplifier. Uh, I like that but I'm going to make it in my way. Well the both channels they are not going to be uh, the same wattage you can see I'm going to use one kit it's uh, close to 200 watt and I'm gonna use it for my Sony subwoofer and this kit it's a bigger one is around 500 watt RMS and I'm gonna use this for 15 inch subwoofer and this is one the bridge rectifier kit I'm gonna put two more capacitor here for this bigger amplifier and this is another a rectifier kit for this M. This is the 26 0 26 volt transformer for this kit, and it's a 30 0 30 volt transformer for the bigger one. Well, and uh, I have bought the four cooler fans like this, and two are gonna be here. Uh, these are going to work as the exhaust fan and it relates as the heat from uh, the inside of the cabinet and two more fans are going to place uh, here and another one here that will blow the hair to the heat sink to the kit it will keep uh, the heat sink cool and the heat will generate here that will uh, these two fans will suck that out so that's the pretty simple thing so I I'm gonna use this two for this one for left channel volume control and this one for right channel volume control and these two are gonna be uh, like this I just put two knobs here to cover that uh, holds up okay now let me tell you that why I'm not using the base travel kit tone control kit because I'm gonna use this as a subwoofer amplifier and that's it I've just uh, marked the places where I need to make the holes or everywhere and uh, I'll do that then uh, I'll get back to you alright guys so half of the work is done here I have set this uh, bigger kit and the smaller one also and set these two transformers uh, but I have connected this only this is the rectifier kit you can see the three connections uh, 26 0 26 and the output from here plus minus and zero volts down to the kit and uh, another is a 12 volt connection here uh, this is the rectifier kit I'm gonna put it over here using some glue and uh, this will power the LED indicator and also the two fans for this kit and this transformer I have just connected this to input AC input and uh, the output will be here uh, you can see these three pins these are the output voltage the 30 volt 30 and these two are the 12 uh, volt and 0 volt connection for the fans and the indicator light and also set the front panel here this one is fake this one is fake the two potentiometers are gonna be here for the smaller one and the bigger one channel A and channel B that's it and these are the fake no use of this and uh, I need uh, a few more what is that knobs and uh, this 
is the rectifier kit as I told you I'm gonna put two more capacitors here I did that and you can see the connections these two are gonna be the AC input and the zero volt will go here and uh, there the zero volt will go out and this is the positive one and this is the negative one more capacitors helps when the buzz drops so that's why I'm using uh, four capacitors so uh, this one is left to do I'm gonna do this tomorrow so I'll get back to you guys alright guys so little more work is done here and uh, this transformer this rectifier kit and this kit is almost done and this is the 12 volt supply and this one is for the fan the outlet one and this one is ready to connect to here that will blow the air to the heatsink and uh, also the LED indicator is ready to mount and this transformer the main power supply may not put power supply uh, 30 volt 30 is ready and the 12 volt here uh, needs to be ready now and now I'm gonna connect this rectifier kit and have to make another one for this 12 volt power supply so that's it and the input is also done you can see the input uh, shielded wire you see to volume control this is for the smaller kit this one and that is for this kit so that's it now I'm gonna do the rest then uh, then I will show you again alright so a little more work is done here I have connected this Transformers uh, main output power supply is three pins connector to this rectifier board and from there this is the DC output so black wires here I didn't find any other color so red mark for red and there is a black depth here that is the negative red is a positive and this uh, nothing is there this one is the ground one so I'm gonna connect this one to this bigger kit and uh, well this kit is done I've installed this fan also and all connected and for this one I made this uh, bridge rectifier kit for the volt supply now I'm gonna install it uh, somewhere here with the uh, sticky tapes no other options here so so let's just quickly do it alright so work is done now and uh, it's complete and uh, uh, let me tell you once again this is the 30 0 30 volt transformer for the bigger kit and uh, these are three the 30 volt connections uh, this is the rectifier kit for that and these two are the 12 volt connection and this is the rectifier kit for that it's upside down and there's three black wires you can see where's the other one there it is you can see these are the main power supply to this board and uh, I have used 1.5 mm wire for the power supply connection and also the speaker connection you can see this is the speaker plus and this is the minus there is a speaker protection board uh, inbuilt here so which is a good thing and uh, you can see here the red wires for this uh, small kit and the black wires for this bigger one and I have connected uh, both the terminals both pair so if one socket is, is damaged anyhow so I can use the other one it's like that parallelly connected both pair and this is a 26 0 26 volt transformer for the this kit and you can see again red 1.5 mm wire for the power supply 26 volt and this is the rectifier kit I bought that long bag which has 
two capacitors 50 volt and 4700 MFT so I've connected two more capacitors using this 0.75 mm copper wire and this is the 12 volt power supply and this is that small one the rectified kit so 12 volt supplies are going to power uh, for this bigger one uh, this fan this fan and the pro speaker protection board and also uh, this front LED and for here this power supply this fan this fan this two and the LED that's it and uh, one more thing is as I told you this is not the cabinet for my purpose it's not a power amplifier cabinet so many things are not going to match with my needs and also they gave here a place for mic but I didn't find any socket like this this small so I, if I even want to use it for a headphone jack 3.5 mm still I need a bigger uh, hole than this so I use a LED which is directly connected to this uh, switch it's AC and uh, I've used a 100k resistance and a diode to connect this LED direct to AC so when I turn this on this AC light is on hope you can see that I turn it off yeah you know, now it's on yeah now I can see that so this is just the indicator that AC is now inside this cabinet amplifier and then I use these two switches for to uh, kit separately this one for the smaller one this one is for the bigger one so let me turn it on and here you can see the blue light that's the indicator and you can see this fan is running and also this fan is running well this fan will blow air to the heat sink and that fan will suck the heat out of the cabinet and uh, same here this fan blow this fan suck out the heat that's it now let's check the other one for this one the LED is green here and here you can see the same thing so that's it and for the control connection I have used this uh, shielded wire and this is the input just to input for two channels that's it so this is my two channel amplifier straight amplifier just like uh, the power amplifier uh, without any tone control because I'm going to use this for my uh, subwoofers I have two subwoofers uh, for 15 inch uh, this one and I'm going to use the 12 inch uh, with this one so let me just quickly give you a demo I've turned on this one so let me play song to the 15 inch and I'd like to tell you that I've connected this one to the Spanier receiver I'm testing with it now Right now let's just change the input now let's turn on the small one you can see the blue light is on the green is off now and this kit is uh, working so let's play the song again
right, so this was the video of making this two channel amplifier, MOSFET amplifier, and uh, for the subwoofer, of course. This was a good fun making it, and it was a, what to say, great success. And uh, that's it, I can show you, I can stick the camera here and record uh, all the stuff in details. But I told you and show you a bit. So it's uh, pretty easy if you have basic knowledge of electronics and soldering. Uh, you can do it by yourself. But if you have any question in your mind you want to ask or want to know, you can ask me in the comments below. I will definitely try to solve your query. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, give it a like if you like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye bye